Hmm. Music seems a little bit loud right now. Let me fix that. How's that now? A bit better? Let's do that. All right, let me make sure my door is locked and I'll be back. Okay, fantastic. Bible study, do you want to tell them anything? Um, wow, you really put me on the spot here. I, w I guess that um, <laughs> I, I tell them to follow you on Twitch. <laughs> follow Garbage David on Twitch. That's That's what I want you to tell them. get that in there. So I was feeling very tired, so I decided to pick this sleepy Nintendo playlist. But this just feels very energetic to me, and it doesn't really make me feel like sleeping at all. I wonder, maybe we might have to switch the playlist soon. Show cover of Zelda's Lullaby is more what I was looking for. Imagine I almost had a full com, a full perfect clear. Well, you know, I went down to Yakin, so I don't feel so bad. I will not do that, gotta go. Alright, bye. Such a sleepy playlist. Hi, Solomon. What's up? Hello, the keymaker. How are you doing? As I mentioned before, I feel very tired tonight, so I might not be streaming for the usual amount of time. But 
you know, let's try to make it a fun time while we're here. What's this song from? This sounds so, like I've definitely heard this song before. I just don't know where it's from. Maybe I haven't. For some reason, I thought it sounded like the Bremen mask theme from Majora's Mask. But surely that's not correct, is it? Oh, Solomon, thank you for the... <laughs> How many months is that? Five months now? Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, dude. It's been... It's been an... <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't feel like it's been five months. It feels like it was just yesterday that we were acquainted. But uh, it's been a good five months. Okay, this would be nice if I could get a block, yeah, to uh, complete my T-spin. How are you though today, Solomon? It's December now, so hopefully you guys are getting into the festive mood. Take it back. I don't think I've ever heard this song before. exciting okay this I know that's from Animal Crossing look at all those months so many months doing good just got home and making dinner two week countdown to winter staycation Jeremy how how many to teach me your velocity in Tetris uh, I'm assuming you're asking me how much am I charging to teach you to be fast in Tetris? Well, the good news is I'm not charging you anything. And the bad news is I can't really teach you. Like, uh, I can't just tell you one thing and then you'll just instantly become faster. I think it's mostly a product of how much you're willing to practice. Because um, this is very much something that you only get better at the more you do it. Um, so it'll be free in terms of money, but it won't be free in terms of your time. So, I don't know. Take that as you will. <laughs> it could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. Depends on which way, what kind of person you are. You could see that as a, as a good thing or a bad thing. But yeah, there's, there's my free tip for you. Um, if you do it every day, you'll get faster. <laughs> um... <laughs> Don't ask me why I decided to make a TST tower. It just sort of happened, you know? It's just one of those things. Besides, there's definitely some stronger people in this very lobby, such as uh, Yakin, namely Yakin. Very strong player. Knows all sorts of teaspoon shenanery, shenanigans. Shenanery? That's not a word, is it? Dang, it's only, is it really only two weeks until Christmas? What day is it today? The 5th. So 20 more days. So it's like a weekend. It's two and a half weeks. Although, I guess some people might get time off early.
Oh boy. This is kind of dangerous. But we make it out alive. And we take home the win. Shenanery. <laughs> nice Solomon. Hi Leo. Please use shenanery in a sentence. But any practice with a plan, can you make a plan to practice the training? Why is that impossible? Wait, what is impossible? Sorry, I've uh, um, something <laughs> that you'll find is that I'll say stuff and immediately forget. It truly is like in one ear, out the other, or out the mouth and out of mind. <laughs> out of mouth, out of mind. Um, sure, to practice, right? So I would not recommend you just to come into this like lobby, right? And just play, right? I think like it, it can be fun, right? And, and there's nothing wrong with you know, doing something that's fun, but I don't think it will really give you a chance to hone those skills, right? Such as, you know, building for teaspoons. Uh, I feel like those things, you really have to grind those out in a single player form, in, in a single, single player mode. Um, but yeah, so let's say you want to improve on speed, right? Um, uh, for me, I really, um, I can, I can, I can kind of just tell you how I improved, right? Um, I can't tell you the one true path to getting faster. Um, I can tell you what worked for other people and what worked for me. Um, so what worked for me is that I literally sprinted. I played sprint for hours every day, right? at least one hour every day. And um, I did that for probably for the better part of a year or longer, I don't know. Like even nowadays, like I'll, you, you'll catch me hopping on and like spending a few minutes just playing sprint. Um, of course, how you sprint matters too. So some people, they like to do, there's a few types of sprinting, right? So some people like to do 9-0, which is where you just have the column all on one side. Some people like to do 6-3, which is where you have a, a, a center column, right? Um, I think the sooner that you get into doing 6-3, the better. So if you really have the intention to just become extremely fast, I would say you're probably better off using the strategies that the fastest players use. Um, But otherwise, it's also training yourself to like use the cue more, right? Because if you're only ever looking at the piece ahead of you, you'll never become fast enough to place like four or five pieces every second, right? You're just not gonna see ahead fast enough. So you have to learn to not just plan for the piece you have immediately, but think about how the piece you have can work in conjunction with the next two pieces you have, right? And that requires you to, well, at least know what the next two pieces you have are. Um, so that is one way you might practice specifically to get faster. Um, something else that might help you get faster is practicing uh, finesse, which is learning to press the least number of keys when placing a piece. So every piece that you place in Minecraft, not Minecraft, well, I have Minecraft on the mind because my sister was playing yesterday, in Tetris can be achieved in like two movement steps and like one rotation, right? So if you're pressing any more than that, you're technically being inefficient and you're, and you're wasting key presses. Um, so learning finesse is part of that. Um, if you have any questions about what finesse is, we can delve into that topic. But for now, I'll just talk about it as if you know what it is. We should put our beds in Minecraft together. JK, unless? <laughs> nice.
I know there's a song that I listen to called We Date, and um, in one of the lines, it goes, I'll hold your hand in multiplayer. And I don't know if it's corny or I don't know, but I, I like that line. I think it's kind of funny. I mean, we could go listen to that song. I, I, I quite like that album. City Girl, Sea Girl, We Did. Sheesh, it is corny, but funny. Yeah. Well, the rest of the song is like gamer lingo. They're like, you know, we can play Wii Sports and, you know, uh, I don't know. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, we can play Smash. And then, you know, I'm going to use my recovery move and something like, I don't know. I like this song because I understand what it's about, but I can imagine that some people would listen to it. And they're like, what, what on earth am I listening to? I, I just remember that I got knocked out super early. Some specific spins require triple rotations. Well, let's not get into the 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 the, the nitty gritty, shall we? Right. Keep things simple for now. Right. We can introduce exceptions later. But yeah. I think this is from Zelda, actually. I believe that's Ilya's theme from uh, Twilight Princess. here. Chord. Oh, I'm dead. Jeremy, you have notifications. Ooh, <laughs> I didn't notice. I have a new custom command for Solomon. Oh, okay. Well, I feel like there's there's too many memories to pick from. <laughs> One day, Jeremy will scroll high up, high, the scroll up high enough to see what I redeemed. Yeah, thank you for for pointing it out, <laughs> Keymaker. Um, LJ Kaidon. Why you play Jestress instead of Baby Soul Tetrio? What do you mean? <laughs> why do I play why do I play Jestress with Baby Soul instead of Tetrio? It's because I, I prefer Jestress. Um Yeah. Doesn't have to be anytime soon. Well, I will start thinking about it now. Maybe Germany145 just hates you. No, I don't hate you. Uh these days I'm a lot more um I will make it known if I don't I don't like you, <laughs> to, or if I, if I, if I feel like you're you're being strange. Um, yeah, man, I I talked I talked to my stream about I don't know I was just ranting a few days ago or maybe a while ago about like oh you know this is these are some interactions lately that I've had that I feel very unhappy about so you know 
I feel now I, I'm just like, I don't have energy to just pretend to be nice to people that I really don't want to be nice to. So, no. I will make it known if I hate you. <laughs> I don't know if that um, made anybody feel any better, but um, it made me feel better to say that. <laughs> and that's what counts. Hmm. There's uh, it's just too many memories to pick from, Solomon. Oh man, wasting, <sighs> wasting the tea there instead of using it for my kaidan. Maybe the death of me it made me extremely sad. I'm, I'm scared for my life right now. Go here. Oh, it's over. I'm deceased. Please wait two to 60 working days. Yeah, okay. Oh, I have notifications and gestures. Yeah, those are just friend requests from people, but I don't know who they are, so I'm not adding them. Okay. So, Eliana asks, what's my favorite color? It's blue. I like blue. I feel that you're too nice. Tell baby soul what you really think about his betrayal. No, I really don't mind, you know, I feel like, you know, we had um, lots of communication, right? Um, you know, I, I, I kind of understood his point of view, you know, he was just trying to get revenge for his brother. And, you know, sometimes there's a lot of unforeseen circumstances and outcomes that nobody can calculate. Right, that reminds me of that. Isn't there like a quote from like the Lord of the Rings where it's just like, um, where somebody says like, oh, I, I hate this. Like, it might be like, I, I, I never, okay, okay. I've never watched the Lord of the Rings or anything like that, where somebody's just like, oh, I, I wish this person was like, was dead or something like that. And it's just like, uh, or like this person deserves death or something like that. And they said like, well, the wise, even the wise cannot see through to the very end. Right? There are those who are deserving of death who do not receive it, and those are who don't deserve it who uh, end up losing their lives. So unless you can, you know, read the future or anything, then, you know, we should not be so quick to pass judgment. Um, something like that, okay. Uh, disclaimer, I, I did not. Um, <laughs> I've never read anything never read any of the books or anything so if I've, I've gotten it completely wrong please let me know but yeah you know not none of us started that journey knowing what would what would happen you know so I, I I don't I don't I don't hold anything against him what shade of blue I guess I guess I'd like lighter shades of blue oh wow it's the the mother three theme now this is a game that made me cry. <laughs> Still makes me cry. Jeremy, did you play in the gestures competition? No, I didn't. Uh, I was busy on Saturday. I'm assuming you're talking about the gestures cup from last Saturday. Uh, I think it used the matchmaking seating to a matchmaking rank to 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 make the seating, but I was busy. I was uh, baking. I've never read anything. <laughs> Here's a better quote from the Lord of the Rings. Get wrecked, nerd. Um, <laughs> you know what? I've never read Lord of the Rings, so it could be in there and I wouldn't know. And Miffy's here too. Sorry, Miffy, if I didn't uh, reply earlier. I did see your message, but I don't know. Feeling very sluggish and behind today on many things. So yeah, I'll be taking my time to respond to stuff. I don't know. 
I was seriously considering... Should I just, like, not stream and go to sleep? <laughs> because, goodness, I've been tired. I've just been sleep-deprived. So this morning, I was supposed to go to school and practice. And I got... I got halfway to school, I looked down and I realized I didn't put on my boots. So I was not able to practice today. <laughs> it was such a shame. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, I'm a, I'm a paramedic student. So, um, when I go into practice for school stuff, I have to like be in the lab where there's like stuff that we might be lifting, such as stretchers and dummies that have uh, weights strapped to them. So therefore it's a requirement that we wear safety boots, like steel toed boots. And today was the first time in like almost two years, or, or almost in a year, sorry, that I didn't wear my safety boots. So I was just like, oh my goodness. What a waste of time. I, I spent money to go to school. Like I paid the fare and everything. I spent time. I woke up early today too. Like today my friend asked specifically, oh, can we like meet earlier so we can practice for longer? I'm like, yeah, for sure. And I woke up early and like, actually I woke up too early. I woke up at like 5 a.m. I don't know why. Um, sometimes when I know that I have to like wake up early for something, I, like, I wake up super early for it. And like, I can't fall back to sleep. So I was just kind of just drifting in and out of sleep up until I had to get ready to leave. And then <laughs> it didn't even matter anyways because I freaking forgot my boots. So I couldn't practice. Oh, that's scary. been defeated are you saying to be a paramedic doctor um paramedics are not doctors uh you might call them the ambulance drivers but we uh we do more than drive ambulances at least in uh the part of canada where i live right we we are able to give interventions right which is why uh it's so important for us to practice um our treatment plans and stuff and learning how to recognize uh, how, to, how to identify life threats and how to appropriately treat them so yeah I was supposed to be practicing how to manage cardiac arrest today and this is one of those ones that's very algorithmic but it can be very chaotic if you're not very used to running that call which is why i wanted to get an extra practice my exam is going to be in a few weeks actually in like a week and a half so hardly any more time to do it so uh, yeah it's, that's why it's such a bummer that I, I freaking forgot my boots wasted a whole day uh instead i ended up just studying for a test and then i went home mistakes now. <laughs> That's unfortunate.
Yeah. Once there's once again these songs are they're very cheerful. They're not really making me any sleepier. Okay, I used the gesture ceiling to actually cut off part of that piece. It was intentional. <laughs> Nice. I took the course to CPR from a paramedic doctor. Yep. So if you take first aid, they'll teach you how to do CPR. They'll teach you how to use the uh, automatic defibrillator, which is like the shocker thingy. Um, for us, uh, we don't use the automatic one because that one takes too much time, right? Instead, they have us actually, they have the, the, the medic We'll, we'll, we'll read the uh, electrocardiogram itself, so we don't have to wait for the machine to analyze and tell us whether we can deliver a shock. It saves time, and time is of the essence when it comes to um, having a heart attack. Um, oh, what, what on earth am I doing? So, yeah. But CPR, uh, I don't know how we ended up talking about well, I mean, I know how we ended up talking about this, but uh, high quality, good CPR is one of them is like the most important thing when it comes to people who are arresting. So if any of you uh, are thinking about learning to get first aid, I would highly recommend it. You never know when you might need it. And it's better to know it and never need it than to need it and never know it. <laughs> what a corny line. But hey, it's true. That took me way too long to figure out how to set up. And this is uh, not going well either. Now this song just sounds creepy. It doesn't sound very relaxing at all. I can't believe I'm still alive. No, I shouldn't have placed that piece. He tossed two ways without the automatic defibrillator and later with it was a first aid course uh yeah so cpr is not the defibrillator that that's its own thing cpr is just it stands for what cardio pulmonary resuscitation so basically it means that you will be beating the heart for the person whose heart has stopped or you're uh and you're also squeezing the lungs to like force the person to take breaths well, not really take breaths, but you're you're forcing air into their lungs, um, right? So if you're doing it with a defibrillator, right, then it just means you're doing CPR plus giving a shock. Um, if you're doing it without the defibrillator, well, that's it's still CPR. Just in case you wanted some clarification. But yeah, it's awesome that you know first aid. 
and uh, I hope you never have to use it but if you do then I hope um, you remember your training well well this is not going too well I'm constantly cheesing see the problem is I need to focus on sending as much clean as I can All right, and now we need to go down as much as possible. And uh, maybe do a little bit less of whatever I just did. All right, there we are. That's much better. Oh, no, this is not good. <laughs> I was trying to do something fancy. But I ended up playing myself. And I really ought to have checked if I had a T-piece in the queue before I went for that T-spin. This somehow sounds like Final Fantasy music to me. I wonder if it is. I haven't really played much Final Fantasy besides Final Fantasy XIV. I did play Final Fantasy X for a bit, but that was many years ago, and I didn't get very far in the game. Oh, sorry, you may. Oh, seven. Thank you for the follow. I see that it happened 12 minutes ago. I'm very behind on things today, but I appreciate your patience. When you said beating their heart, I just meant, I just imagined it with a baseball bat. I mean, you could, you might be able to. You'd probably just break all the ribs at the same time. I'm just kidding. No, you cannot do that. <laughs> that was a joke for comedic purposes. You cannot perform CPR with a baseball bat. Please do not attempt. in the world but definitely we want to get back to sending more clean I say as I make some more mistakes trying to do here well, luckily the room just decided not to punish me and that is fine by me as well 
Yeah. <laughs> At the end, there's just no pressure. X was the first one I played all the way through. I see. I... Oh, I was about to say some spoilers. But yeah, Final Fantasy just never really was kind of my game when I was growing up. I much preferred Zelda and stuff. I wonder how that could have changed, like, if my cousins who gave me um, their old Nintendos and stuff, how might the trajectory of my life have been very different if I had been given, you know, Final Fantasy uh, have been? And we'll never know. We'll never know the answer to such an important question. enough. We need to go back down. Alright, and then we're purposefully not... We're going to purposefully hold on to back-to-back. -back. Look at that. Skillfully. Um, not very skillfully at all, actually. I take it back. Now this is most definitely from Pokemon. <laughs> the gesture ceiling just deleted my piece. I know that what you're talking about is the third year I took the course. I hope not to have to do it, but I took the course just in case. My rice cooker timer and my oven timer are about to go off simultaneously. My kitchen finesse is off the charts. Well, that's all the played up. That's all the played up training uh, coming in, right? Good thing your, your your master chef who's uh survived till till day 15 on planet. <laughs> Can you imagine? What if like one day on like one of like Gordon Ramsay's shows, they're just like, alright, today your challenge is to <laughs> play like overcooked and get you know to the final stage and the first cook that does this will receive a huge advantage. Or something like that. Oh, 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 go in there, please. Please, 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 please for me. Would you do it? Oh, this is awkward. All right, you know what? Let's just catch up on chat. Why is your gesture put the points on the left? Oh, you're talking about here, right? That's a plugin uh called gestures plus that also enables uh, matchmaking uh you can't see it my camera's blocking it but if you can see here it says zero and q 18 online so then there's an extension that i'm running that enables uh the cool stuff like my attack per piece over here as well as my action table not my action table, my action text saying how much i'm sending um if you're interested i can share that with you it's uh, not something that you pay for. It's completely free. So it just adds here. If I press on this, oh, let me hide that. Okay. 
basically these are all the bonus settings that you have so you can also change the pieces right uh, you can have like uh, make the board shake when you place your pieces um, you can also have different uh, skins uh, audio settings that kind of stuff extra statistics that you'd like to have all that stuff is part of it that'd be unbelievable my friend who has worked in kitchens his entire life saw me and Maz and Josh playing play up and our kitchen layouts were driving off the wall that's true I'm not a master on SRS but I'm sure that I spin was impossible oh is that so I thought it was possible What's the name of the plugin? Uh, here, why don't I just give it to you? Um, I'll get I'll get you the link in the. All right, if you're using Google Chrome, let me know, because I can give you a, an extension to Google Chrome that can do that. Otherwise, it will require you to get this Tamper Monkey uh, extension and then install the script from there. But I can give you a link to something that will install it right into Chrome. If you don't play on Chrome, if maybe if you play on Firefox, I'm, I think they have a, a version available for that browser as well. Just let me know which one you prefer. Use Firefox, okay. Let me see. Uh, let's see if I can grab the Firefox one. Um, uh, Copy the link. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna paste it in my chat. Is there a GitHub or something? Um, I'm not sure. I don't really know too much about it. I was not the one who created it. Some of my friends uh, and the community put it together and it's an ongoing project. Okay, uh, and if you wanna stay up to date with it, then I'll just go ahead and generate a link. Although, no, wait, hold on. This might work. Does this, uh, let me know if that worked, if that, if that, if that, uh, link works. But yeah, happy to, happy to let you know. So basically, if you want to have those stats along the side, I mean, it's a quality of life thing. I'm never really looking at it because, like, I know when I do a teaspoon, it's sending four. But sometimes people like to look at their combos, so that's cool, and it's nice for uh, anyone who's spectating to look at. I think people like to have that. The stat that I do like looking at is the attack per piece. So that's really telling you how efficient you are um, or, or how well you are using uh, the, the garbage to attack back. I also believe that they added an undo feature. Yeah. Uh, it's the undo feature is not available for um, multiplayer, obviously. The undo feature is for in practice mode. Although I would say if you really wanted to be in a mode where you can endlessly undo your moves, I would recommend you use uh, Fortress. Fortress is an invaluable tool. People use it to study PC uh, patterns and it allows you to draw your own custom board. Hi, QB. What's up? How are you doing today? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I just looked at the, the chat in the default room and that really made it... Made me glad that I have a picture that's censoring what people say. People not, are not being appropriate. They're being inappropriate. I thought about playing on Tetra today and just doing a very, very short Tetra League session, but I decided that was too much, too much stress, you know? I'm just trying to unwind for the day, get myself tired out. So here we are instead. Oh, 
whoops. Um, this round might end very soon. <laughs> we shall see. Or not. Luckily, we didn't get attacked, but here we are blocking our own T-spin setups. How awesome is that? Oh yeah, last time I saw you, QB, or last time you were streaming, you were, I think, participating in, in, in a tournament. How did that go? Did you place well? Did you win the whole thing and I didn't even hear about it? Oh, I know this song. This is uh, Yoshi's Island. Wait, hold on. Nice. Now this is a lullaby. Literally using the music box. Dude, what is up with... <laughs> what am I doing today? It's all messed up. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm in danger. Uh, okay. No good. We lost early. Lost to Fort, then Frostfire. I see. Well, hopefully you still were able to play your best and uh, maybe you were able to take a few games off of them because I know they're also very strong players. <clears throat> I'm good, simply don't play TL. Yes, I agree. Why ruin your day by opening Tatrio? I cannot agree more. I'm glad I'm in good company here. I use Fortress to practice ridiculous T-spin setups. Over the weekend, I regained S plus and peaked over 20k in TL for the first time in months. It's amazing that when you spend time away from playing Tetra League and you get everything else in order in your life, all of a sudden you be you become better. It's crazy. No way. Who would have guessed? But yeah, I'm happy to hear that, Solomon. And I hope that after that, you, you know... <laughs> You know how people say like, oh, when, when you when you gamble, <laughs> right? Uh, when you walk away with your winnings, that's like, you know, that's how you win. So hopefully you take your winnings and you just leave. Okay, this is this is getting a little bit ridiculous. Okay, I have to take the T-spin out of order due to my own foolishness. But I guess missing a T-spin isn't so bad as long as it means you're not outright dying. Hmm, is it better down stack? Uh, we shall find out shortly. Should I have down stacked? So far, it seems like this is paying off better, but I guess we'll never know the truth. Oh. 
Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> We've been defeated. Deadly Hatred has redeemed a 1v1. Where do you want to play? I'm assuming on Tetrio, but it's up to you. Kiwi's in the room. That I'll never, <laughs> I'll literally never use in TL. Well, Leo, if you practice it enough, maybe you will use it one day. Okay, sorry, I missed some messages. I tried TL on Sunday, lost four times in a row, I was like, never mind. Oh, shoot. I didn't read the second part. Solomon went back into the casino. He went back in and he put, he put his money on red. <laughs> Canadian's so baller. Or our baller, yeah, that's true. I didn't know Frostfire is Canadian. I've never met Frostfire before. I've met Fort. Um, but I haven't met Frostfire. Open Tetrio. Man, just wait until he reads my next message. He'll be shocked. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll, I'll open Tetrio. All right. All right, Tetra is opened. Let me just switch over to that view. Yeah, sorry, Solomon. I went I went on that huge rant without having the full context, and now I look like a fool. Can't believe, I can't believe that I've done this. All right, let me put the link out here, but I don't want anybody else to join. I just want Deadly Hatred or Bane. However, they prefer to go by now. best thing about sending a message in Jeremy's chat is like a dis it's like an instant dramatic irony waiting for him to see what comes next. <laughs> it's like a time capsule, okay? It, it, it's a time capsule. Warm up, alright. It should be on just one game by default. Oh, excuse me. this question to Solomon recently but what's your greatest gaming achievement in your opinion well let me tell you what I did the other day I finally got <laughs> I f <laughs> there's this achievement in Hatsune Miku colorful stage uh, called mad skills which is where you full combo 30 songs on the hardest difficulty and I got that a few like a month ago and then I've been grinding and grinding and grinding and I finally got in the last rank of that which is to clear 70 songs at the highest difficulty on with full combo. And I finally got that the other day. So I would say that's my greatest gaming achievement. Okay. Good luck, have fun. It's pretty insane. Well, <laughs> I know, I don't know. It sounds pretty cool, but um, there's, <laughs> I would say even within that game, there's much higher, um, greater achievements that people have reached there's songs whose difficulty level is insane and honestly maybe if one day i clear one of those levels that might be become might, that might become one of my greatest achievements but yeah i mean it, it might be an easy answer to just say like oh in tetris you know uh you know being this fast or playing for this amount of time that's my greatest achievement but i don't know um, I don't, I don't want to just say Tetris. Um, I mean, I love Tetris and everything, but I've got other interests too. <laughs> 